This is how you add a user to the Biomatch system. Um, from the home page, select user management. On the, on the user management page, you can see all of your current users listed here. If you click on new user, you can select a user group, which you would have set up earlier. And these might be contractors or um, people who work within the organisation. So we're going to go and set up a duty manager. Find them there. Okay, a business unit. Uh, you might have these set up as either contractors or staff. So we're going to choose centre management as staff. I'm going to add a new user here. So John Smith. Uh, you need to select date of birth. So we'll go with Friday, the 1st of December in this example. This area at the bottom here, you can override key access policies, which is the keys that person has access to the cabinet in, which is set up in uh, the key access policy area. Um, you would just click this box and choose another set, uh, other sets of keys. So I'll just do that to show you. We could give them the security set, the supervisor set, the cleaner set, for example. I'm just going to leave it as duty managers and click next. Here you can put in additional information, so titles, duty manager, etc. Any comments? Next. Uh, this is again as further details that will go on to the user profile. A good one here is a mobile number. In case there's a, an evacuation, when you print out the evacuation report and this person's on site with keys, their phone number will appear on that report and you can give them a call to make sure they're safe. Okay, next is the um, the on-site, off-site reader. In this case it's the MA500. Um, if you had multiple readers you could check the readers that that person would use to come on site. Um, in this case we've only got one so we'll just click next. Uh, in this area here you can choose the time of day signified here on the bottom or the day of week when this person has access to the site. So if you wanted to say that this person didn't have access to the site on a Sunday, you would click this box up here which is override time mask and simply take Sunday out of the equation by highlighting it and moving it across. If they didn't have um, access on, on Tuesday between midnight and 8am, you simply just go and do that and press next and if that person was trying to get keys during these times here they wouldn't be allowed. Okay, uh, if we had a webcam connected here this is where you would just get them to smile in the box and capture a photo which would go on their profile. I'll show you how that works in a sec. Okay, next you capture their uh, biometric inf in information from their fingers starting with the left index finger. You present your uh, you get the contractor to present their finger three times. So you'll see here the um, the square around the fingerprint goes red when it's been captured. Now three times ensures that there's a good um, template saved in the system. Now for the right index finger three times. Now when I say a template, the actual fingerprint isn't captured. Um, it's converted into binary, which is lots of ones and zeros. And at that stage, we can see here it says enrollment completed. So we just go finish. And you'll see that person has been added to the user list, John Smith. Um, I was referring to a photo before. Here's one we took earlier. And... Um, that's on David's profile. So that's how you add a user to the um, system.